Hey everyone, this is a departure from all of my normal videos. One, I am sitting in the office area of my bedroom. That's where the magic happens, as far as YouTube is concerned. And um, this video has nothing whatsoever to do with beauty. Um, it has everything to do with how to make beauty videos go up way faster. Well, not just beauty related videos. Any video that you want to upload to YouTube, um, for many of us, is a lengthy and painful procedure. Uh, the HD videos especially take a very long time to get into the internet. So a really wonderful, beautiful, smart, exceptional uh, subscriber and follower of mine on Twitter, whose name unfortunately I don't remember anymore, told me months and months ago to look into using a handbrake program, the program called Handbrake. And this has completely changed my life. So if you make videos or you want to make videos, then I highly suggest you keep on watching. If you don't make videos, you may find this incredibly boring and just annoying. Or if you want to get a little insight into what I do when I'm not sitting in front of this thing, then um, keep on watching. The rest of the video, you'll hear my voice, but you will not see me. It is um, There are screenshots, or it's a screen, it's a video of the screen, whatever. So um, enough with the babbling, because there's more to come. And um, keep on watching. Let me know what you think. So we're going to start with the premise that you have a movie already made in iMovie, Window Movies Maker, what have you, saved um, and ready to upload to YouTube. But you know that if you upload it in its current format, it's going to take six to seven hours if it's HD. So while we know that you have a movie, we're going to assume you don't have the program Handbrake. Obviously you can see that I already have it set up, but let's just pretend that you don't. I'm going to show you how to go get it. Pretty simple. So just go to your search engine of choice and type in Handbrake and it comes right up. It's the first one and it's .fr because it's a French, I guess, company, although you would not know that. Everything's in English. So just click on that and you'll see it's free and you just would click on the button for if you have a Mac here, if you have a PC or something else, you'd click on that. So. <clears throat> that's that. Now once it's downloaded, this is the easy part, you are going to open Handbrake. I don't know why the icon they've chosen for it is a pineapple and some sort of fruity drink, but there you go. So what you're going to see when you first open the screen is this. This is all it is. And so the first time that you want to convert a movie, go to source. That's how you find what you want to do. Click on source. And all my movies, of course, are saved in movies. So the movie that I want to convert is the Labor Day Hall, which you should have seen last week. And you can see it's just over a gigabyte. It's a pretty good size. So I'm going to click on that and hit open. And now here are some, and see it's loading up. There we go. Okay, now here are some of the fun things to know. On the top here, you can just ignore these for now. They are not relevant to what we're doing. And picture settings, all that. I will get back to picture settings in a moment. But um, this is the title. Obviously, this is my Labor Day haul video. That's what I named it. And it's 13 minutes and 13 seconds. Great. A lucky thing. I have picked a destination, because I do this all the time, that I have a separate folder for Handbrake Movies. Um, so that's where it's going, and I'm just going to keep the title as is. You can change it here if you want, but keep this part alone. If you want to choose a new place to save it, you could click on Browse. Now, let's get to Output Settings right here. You click on this, you have two options. I don't even know what this is. This is the, you want it an MP4 file, so that's good. I always click on Web Optimized. This basically means that... It can be seen across all platforms, so whether someone is watching this on a laptop, a cell phone, some sort of tablet, it streams and buffers and starts more quickly and smoothly in layman's terms. And I am the ultimate layman. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, now that we've clicked a few things, these have popped up. So the only one that I think is important for you to see is picture settings. You click on that and you can see here when you get to size, size matters. If you want to keep it a 720 HD or put it into um, the next one up, which is what, 1080? This is where you would plug that in. So um, these are the settings for 720p, and uh, that's as high as I'm happy to go. I don't think anyone needs to see me in 1080, 
So I just leave it as is. If you want to bump it up to the 1080 settings, then knock yourself out. Let's get to the video tab. So click on video, which is obviously already clicked here. And I don't know what any of this actually means. So if you're looking for technical explanations, you're in the wrong spot. I'm just giving you the basic settings that I have figured out over trial and error and watching a ton of other videos on how to do this. I'm just gonna list the settings for you. I'm also going to list them in the description box. And uh, that is my one pet peeve of all the videos I've watched on how to do this. Nobody lists the settings. So if you don't wanna hear me babble on, just go click on the about settings, get everything you want from there and start uploading. So video codec, this is what you want. This H.264, I don't even know why. Um, we'll come back to video in a second. If you click on audio, English is always acceptable as the um, preferred language there. You want to keep it at AAC. The only thing you want to really change here is the bit rate, and they recommend changing it to 128. You go back to video and click on this. Okay, now go to advanced tab. Aha! Um, change the reference frames to four. See if you can read uh, what that little yellow box is telling you. The more you add, the better the compression, but the slower the encode. So basically, uh, the, most people have come to the consensus that four is a good number. Everything else, leave it alone. Um, oh, one more thing. Go back to video. And under quality. Is it quality? Average bit rate. Here it is. Average bit rate. Go to, um, they say about 800 is optimal bit rate speed. And if you want to do two pass encoding, you can. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me why you do that. I have done two pass encoding and I've done one pass encoding. Um, we're just going to stick with two passes, which is a, high, a slightly higher quality. But for the purposes of YouTube beauty videos, once is fine. We're ready to go. Hit start up here at the top. And you're going to see how quickly this goes. It, I love how it gives you soon. Oh, right here. Look down here. It tells you how much of it has been encoded and how much longer you have to go. So for a 13 minute video, just under three minutes is not so bad. So we'll come back when we're done encoding. And then you can see how quickly this thing would upload. Aha, put down that cocktail, your handbrake cue is done. Okay, so click okay. And you can get out of handbrake now, you're done. You don't need it anymore. Okay, so just for giggles, let's upload it in its natural state, just so you can see how long it would have taken. Whoops. Okay, so this is the original size, 1.06 gigabytes. And, oops. Sorry. Okay, so about 93 minutes. Not too terribly bad, but not great. Okay. Cancel. Yes, indeed, I want to cancel it. Okay. Now, let's see how long it's going to take me to do it. Go away. In the other form. I'm actually going to make this a scheduled upload because it's not going public right away. And now we're going to get into desktop, handbrake, movies. Why does it do this to me? Okay, Labor Day haul. You can see it's now just under, it's 93 megabytes, so much smaller. And seven minutes, seven minutes. Like that's, that's awesome. So I'm gonna go actually fill in all the stuff so you guys will enjoy watching the video that I'm uploading and it's going to go live on Thursday. Oh, I'm glad you see this. This comes up every time. Here's how I deal with it. 
I've never had an issue. So there you go. Um, just so in case you're curious, I always upload videos to go live Mondays and Thursdays, 6 a.m. Central Time. And now I'm going to start the business of listing everything that I mentioned in the video, which I have written down here, if I can type. So I'm going to go focus on that, but hopefully this is helpful to you. You can see that this goes pretty quickly. Um, if you don't upload videos because maybe you're afraid of how long it takes to do so, maybe this will give you the incentive to join me on YouTube land. And um, if you give this a try, please let me know um, how it works out for you. If you have questions, don't ask me because I've told you everything I know and anything else is beyond my knowledge. But luckily there are loads and loads and loads of videos and articles and all kinds of stuff on handbrake settings and um, I encourage you to continue to research this and if any of you have any suggestions um, for me other than the suggestion I know which is going to come my way which is girl learn what you're talking about before you make a video um, keep that one to yourself but any other suggestions please, please feel free to put in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.